Man, people are people sick, man. They are sick. They still talking this Canelo. Even after watching this fight with Madrimov where it was a close fight and he's fighting at 154, they still talking this Canelo talk. Listen to this. Okay, and after that, is it Canelo? Is Canelo ready for Canelo? I mean, he ready, ready for Canelo? Man, what you think? That's two more weight classes. Yeah, give him a little time, will you? Give him a little time. Cook Beto and Nigel so Moore. made did himself proud, too. Give him time. No, they 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 watched this fight and said, uh, Crawford Canelo, they want him to move up not one, but two more weight classes. So Terrence Crawford can get knocked out. That is a stupid fight. I've been saying it. I don't want to see that fight. It don't make sense. Madrimov is strong. You think Canelo's not strong? I mean, come on, man. That's like Crawford fighting somebody at 135. They're going to move up to 154 to fight Crawford. It don't make sense. Anyway, back on this fight. Israel Madrimov versus Terrence Crawford. Uh, Israel was smart. He was very smart. He didn't. He wasn't trying that to the body, jab to the body. He did it like twice in the first round. I think he might have done it one more time, and he never threw it again, because of Terrence Crawford was 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 every time he came forward, Terrence Crawford backed up and he cocked his hand. He was he was waiting to counter. And Madrimov, he, he, he has enough boxing IQ to know, okay, I'm not going to be able to do this with this guy. That's the only punch that I feel, that's the only way I feel like Terrence Crawford could have hurt this man because he would have left himself wide open for them head shots. So, you know, the dude's awkward, his awkward movement was a problem. You know, it's hard to pinpoint his patterns and time somebody like that. Looking like he's jumping, like he's about to play double dutch and he's waiting to jump in. He kept moving his arms and head and bobbing and moving. Crawford looked good early on. And then it seemed like, you know, he was getting hit with more punches than I've seen him get hit with. Swole his eye. Almost shut it. Then Crawford had to sell out towards the end. He was throwing, uh, trying to put combinations together, and he was throwing wide punches. He was throwing. He was leaving himself open. Had Madrimov had enough juice in the tank or whatever and, and caught him clean, it could have been adios muchachos. Uh, it was close, but I don't think it was 115 to 113 close. M more so 116 to 112 uh, from my vantage point. Uh, but I'll have to watch it again. Just off our first watch, I didn't think it, I thought it was a clear Terrence Crawford win. What no, you, you are on the edge of your seat type stuff. Uh, where does Crawford go from here? Because I don't think I don't think the Canelo's fight gonna happen. I think Crawford knows after that fight when they was interviewing him, talking about that Canelo, because they was talking about the fight that you need or whatever uh, something they said, and 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 Crawford was like, "Nah, I don't really need that fight financially to be good." But is he gonna try to collect all belts, all the belts at one fifty four, and unify the division? I don't know. I mean, are you just going to cut? You already made, you already got history. You are in four weight divisions. So you really don't need to unify unless you just really want to. But you can get the money fights. Jamel Charlo is a big fight. Big fight. That is a big fight. Uh, I would like to see that fight. And I'm going to be honest with you. I want to see the Boots fight. I boots come up to 154, and I want to see that fight. I mean, it's like, the, you know, that. uh uh, Turkey Alashik, his his ex excellency, make it happen, you know, because I've heard Crawford say if the money's right, <laughs> there could be a fight. He said that at this point, you already got now you got a belt. You don't have to unify the division. This is just me, and, and I don't understand why people that like Crawford 
They don't want to see the, 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 these colorful fights. They ain't like they know Crawford. Well, he needs to do this. Well, I'm saying he needs to do I don't. I'm not saying he needs to do anything. I'm saying this is a fight I want to see as a boxing fan. I think he'll he'll beat these guys, so I want to see it. Jamel Charlo got to get it for all the trash he's been talking and cocking his head to the side. I want to see him and Charlie Boy. Um, but again, this fight with Terrence Crawford, I thought he looked good first half of the fight. Then it seemed like he realized that you know the fight was getting close, and he started to uh, bite down. Showed heart, showed grit. That's just Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford get hit with punches, he's bringing them back to you. That's what he does. But now that you're fighting at a bigger weight class, that dude has some power. You know, he could have caught you with some stank. Had you doing a stanky leg. So, you know, and you know, Terrence ain't fought in over a year, so it could have been a little ring rust, timing and stuff. Who knows? Um, but this Canelo business this talking it needs to stop i mean it's it's sick every time i hear it i'm like these dudes don't know nothing about no boxing why you want to see that and they took this fight now had terrence crawford stopped this guy oh man the canelo fight they they wouldn't it man it would get it, oh man it'll never end but as you see they still want to see the fight even after he edged this fight he didn't blow this guy out the water. It was a close fight. And he, listen, he edged it. I'm just going by what the what the professionals came up with, the, the judges. They had him edging this fight. And people are talking Canelo still. You heard this, fool. Listen to him. That's two more weight classes. Hold on. Canelo? Canelo? Canelo's ready for Canelo? That's two more weight classes. Yeah, give him a little time, will you? Give him a little time. Give him a little time. He can't even settle in the division. Crawford's too old now to, to go up all the way to Canelo and fight him and, and make it be of a competitive fight. He's too small. Too small. But anyway, guys, it's me, your boy. Comment, rate, subscribe. I'll be back.